Creating and tuning intrusion policies is much easier in version 4.9. In this section, we'll create a new policy and then make some tuning adjustments to it. We will first create a new intrusion policy, then associate it with a 3D sensor, then get RNA recommendations, and finally take some tuning actions. Let's begin by creating a new intrusion policy. Select Policy and Response, IPS, Intrusion Policy. A list of intrusion policies appears. Click Create Policy in the upper right. A new draft policy is created and you are placed into the Policy Editor. All of the main elements of the policy are displayed here. The base policy, its targeted detection engines, defined variables, enabled rules, and RNA's recommendations. Type in a name and description for the policy. We'll call it Perimeter Policy. We can leave the protection mode as inline. Click Select Base Policy. Your new intrusion policy is built from the VRT policy Connectivity Over Security, which provides critical false positive free protection. Note the number of roles in the base policy and the number of roles that are set to drop. The checkbox Update when a new SEU is installed is checked, so when a new SEU is installed, this policy will automatically update its rule states and other settings with the changes from that SEU. Change the base policy to Balance Security and Connectivity. Note that the number of roles in the base policy is greater. This policy enables more roles and may benefit from tuning. Select Back in the upper right to return to the main policy screen. Note that the policy isn't targeting any detection engines. Select Manage Detection Engines. Click Add on the Sensors line and associate the policy with one of your sensors, pressing OK when you are finished. This automatically associates it with all of the detection engines residing on that sensor. Click Back. Your policy is now targeting one detection engine. When you apply this policy, you can simply reapply it to the targeted detection engine without having to select it again. We won't define any variables in this exercise. Now we've created a policy and associated it with a detection engine. We can apply this policy right now to a sensor. If we have RNA, we can use it to help tune this policy to our network. Note that RNA currently isn't recommending anything. Select Manage RNA Recommendations. By default, RNA uses the networks that correspond to the home net variable defined for each targeted detection engine for its recommendations. So, if your sensor is protecting the 1001 network and you've set up its home net variable and associated this sensor with your intrusion policy, this network will be used for recommendations. If no variables are defined, RNA will use its entire network map for recommendations. You can always change this in Advanced Settings. Click Generate Recommendations. RNA recommends a set of rule states to fit your network. You have two options. You can use them informatively to guide you while you manually tune your policy, or you can auto-tune your policy by incorporating them automatically. Let's automatically incorporate RNA's recommendations. Select the Modify Rule States checkbox, click OK, and return to the main policy screen by selecting Back. RNA's tuning recommendations are now incorporated into the policy. Now let's make a few tweaks. Select Manage Rules on the right side of the screen. The new SourceFire Rule State Manager appears. This screen is where you can enable, disable, drop, or take other actions on rules in your policy. You can also use a powerful filtering capability. On the left side in the top of the screen, 
to quickly find rolls to tune. Pay particular attention to the columns just to the right of the message column in the main table. The first column to the right, with a header that looks like a play button on a VCR, shows the current status of each rule in the policy. Generate events, drop and generate events, or disabled, each represented by icons. The column just to the right of that one shows the RNA recommendation for each rule. In this case, your RNA recommendations match up with the rule states in your policy because you chose to auto-tune the policy with RNA recommendations. If you wanted to manually tune, you could have used these two columns to identify rule states that did not match the associated RNA recommendation, which might be good candidates for tuning. Let's say you're interested in turning on coverage for a particular well-known worm, Configure. Type Configure into the filter text box at the top of the page and press Enter. Additionally, you could have opened up the Microsoft Worm section of the accordion panel on the left side of the screen and chosen Win32 Configure from there. Many other options are available for filtering. For more help with filtering, press the question mark button to the right of the filter text box. A few rules are now displayed that correspond to the Configur worm. Select all of these rules by selecting the checkbox in the blue header above them. Then click Rule State drop and generate events. These rules will now drop the configure worm and the traffic associated with it if the 3D sensor sees it. Note that the icon to the right of these rules changes to a down arrow superimposed over a play icon symbolizing drop and generate events. You're done tuning for now. Select back to go back to the main policy screen. At the bottom of the screen, select Commit Changes to save your changes. You may be presented with a prompt to enter a change description, in which case you can type Created Policy and select OK. Let's move on to the next exercise about managing more than one intrusion policy.